Uh, the Prime Minister uh, and I had a very fruitful discussion. Uh, this is the first visit that I'm making to Timor Leste, having been appointed the ambassador from my country, the Republic of Singapore, to the Democratic Republic of Timor Leste. Uh, yesterday, I had a very fruitful meeting and uh, with a number of uh, business leaders, uh, government officials, as well as members of the NGO, the international community. Uh, as well, I had the opportunity to meet with um, Singaporeans uh, living and working here in Timor Leste and around the Dili area. Uh, so the, today, uh, the meeting that uh, the Prime Minister and I discussed on a number of issues uh, related to the past contribution of Singapore uh, from the days of pre-independence uh, since uh, uh, the country's uh, independence with Singapore have sent some 1,000 uh, Singapore Armed Forces officials, uh, personnel as well as uh, uh, soldiers and officers, as well as from our Singapore Police Force, uh, in helping to participate in the UN peacekeeping uh, over the years and uh, over the last 20 years or so. The Singapore government has also provided a training program uh, to the officers of the Timor Leste government, uh, numbering at about 800. Uh, Singapore have also designed a special program. Uh, designed to help uh, Timor's uh, government officials to prepare for uh, its ascension into the ASEAN as a member. Uh, as we all know, uh, a particular roadmap is now being developed by ASEAN nation states uh, to design the criteria, the so timeline, and the roadmap leading to Timor Leste's ascension to ASEAN. And that particular roadmap is being worked on, and we look forward uh, to helping uh, Timor Leste to gain the necessary experience, expertise, and know-how uh, to participate, to contribute, and in time to come to become a full-fledged member of ASEAN so that collectively the family members of ASEAN can move forward in a concerted effort that will bring about prosperity for us all. Thank you.